Hello folks, this is Mike's Toontown, and yeah, you're reading the title right now of this video. Yeah, things have been rough for me. Very rough. Uh, I have not been too active on here for varying reasons, and I'm going to talk about those reasons. So, some of you might have seen my community post saying that I had to cancel the Let's Play for Monsters, Inc. Scream Team. That's because... I made one part of that, and then when I was preparing part two, uh, I got stuck on a loading screen. And no matter how much I could clean the disc, it just wouldn't load. It would not load, so I had to cancel that Let's Play. Really, it's sad, but honestly, that was just one little part of my day. This was going on on May 1st, which was my birthday, and that day was just probably the worst day I ever had. I've never been too fond of birthdays now that I'm older because it's just a reminder that I'm getting old and most people genuinely like to mess with me on that day or they like to just be harsh and usually everything's against me on that day and this day it was just this birthday it was a lot more hard and forceful than it usually is. It was literally the worst day I ever had, and that really drained a lot of my will and motivation to do what I like doing. So much so, in fact, that I actually had to take a break from social media, just so I, you know, I could just clear my head and think of what am I doing? Am I good? Am I just, what I'm doing is good or bad? I don't know. I did. I came back, and I thought I was ready. And then a few days later, life hit me. It was personal. I can't explain what it was. And my motivation got drained again. I just haven't said it until now because, I don't know, I've just, I'm not, de I'm not saying that I'm depressed or anything. I'm just, I'm just at a loss. I, I feel like I've hit a brick wall. And like, you know, that's, that sucks because I had a lot more planned for this year. But now I don't know if I feel like doing any of that. I mean, I was supposed to get a Plush Brains video done by now for May and... I have not even started work on that, which is really sad. And, you know, I still have other Let's Plays I was planning. One-offs aren't really a problem. though. Regardless of what I'm talking about right now, one-offs will still happen because I can do those at my own pace. And so is random videos and even, like, projects and such. But anything relating to plush brains and Let's Plays for cartoon gameplay, they're just starting to get under my skin. I know I said I'd work around it at the, you know, the end of the year update that I did last year, promising great stuff for this year, but I guess I'm biting off more than I can chew here. I, I just hate it when that happens, you know, you think you can handle something, but you can't. It's not the first time I've failed on that, but, you know, and... Here's the thing. It's not only just that day ruining my motivation and all the projects that I'm piling up. It's other things. You know, I, I tend to get a lot of harassment because people don't like accepting the fact of how I do things and what I do and when I do them. And they don't like it when I, like, make suspension on projects. I've got a lot of people saying that they're sick of me doing that. And... <sighs> It's really, it's it's bringing me down more. And here's the thing. I know people are going to say, well, just ignore those people. And I do that. The problem is so many people do it to me that you can't really ignore. You can ignore one person, but you can't ignore like 50 people. It's, it's, it's a lot of pressure to be putting on me when I'm already making big projects. And I know that some of you higher folks might look at my stuff and think, nah, that's just nothing. I can make better things or I've seen better. You know, you got to keep in mind, I'm one small person. It's a tradition to step on little people. I know that. I know. But still, not everybody is capable of making great things. I'm lucky that I was able to learn all this stuff that I've done. There are people who don't have the same stuff as me, the same techniques as me, and you know, privileges and such. And I still think they make good content. Again, it's not about, you know, how your content is and your quality. It's just, you know, if you can make a show with good characters and story, then that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if you have cheap effects or if you don't have a capture card or anything. 
as long as you can make a show that works with what you have, that's all that matters. And to anyone who doesn't like what I do, take that to your advantage. Do something with you. You make something. If you want to, if you want to see me do something, don't you could just do it yourself, and you don't need little things. You you don't need a bunch of characters. You don't need, like, fancy equipment. You don't need a capture card. I mean, I record all of my stuff with my phone mainly. Like this update video. I, I gotta put that out there because I've always wanted to say that, but I don't know when it was a good time to say that to all the people who don't like the fact I don't do requests anymore and, like, you know, all the choices I make. It's always more room for you to make your own thing. If you want me, you want to see somebody do what you want to see me do, you can make that a reality. But nobody understands. But yeah, so it was the harassment, May 1st, and life, and all the stuff I piled up that has brought me to this point. But all of this motivation drain kind of also circles to one other thing. The big plush brains project I'm working on. I have mentioned before, this is turning out to be the biggest thing I've ever worked on and the hardest thing I've ever worked on. So much so, in fact, that its original April deadline got canceled and now it's, you know, an unknown release. Well, I kid you not, this is the most stressful thing I've worked on. And I can't multitask with plush brains and cartoony gameplay. If I was just doing plush brains and cartoony gameplay, then I could handle those two. But now this big project, it's like a whole nother beast. And because of that, I don't really have the time to work on stuff. I've been busy trying to get that other stuff done. And i it's been holding me back on trying to finish this. Part of it is because there's a lot of crazy things going on with it that are very hard to deal with. And... I don't know. I've 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 quit almost several times trying to make this thing because of how convoluted it is. But I've told myself that if if I was going to end anything, if this is my last year for making videos, which I'm not sure still, only time will tell, then the last plush brains video I want to make is the big project. And if I can make more after that, then that would be great, but I don't know. The thing is, though, I have introduced everything in Plush Brains that will lead into the crossover. Everything that is relevant to the crossover has already been addressed. So any, like, other future Plush Brains videos, if they get held off in favor of the of the big project, which, yeah, is a crossover, um, that I just... I just screwed that up, didn't I? See, I, I don't feel like updating this right now. I've, I've just hit the bottom to the point where I don't really care. You've seen the little something big is coming. You've seen Matthew's big pick show that I, you know, I, I wasn't really a part of that for reasons. That was a whole nother beast. I'm not about to talk about that. Um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know what to go I do want to keep making videos. It's not that I don't, like, you know, I don't want to, like, do anything anymore. It's just the videos that I'm making. Sometimes I don't know if I really, I don't know if it's worth it. Sometimes I feel like, you know, I'm working myself overtime just to put out a video that only people find okay. And I've had that a lot. People don't understand me, or I try to make people happy, and I only get a, oh, that's cool. Um, something happens to me, and somebody flat out changes the subject on me, which hurts my feelings a lot. And that actually happened to me when I, my grandma died. Yeah, I told somebody that my grandma died, and they changed the subject on me. That hurts. I don't know if you know who you are, but... Man, that that just hurt real bad. That's like the last thing I'd need. But, you know, people, that's just people. I'm not saying that everybody is terrible because there's a lot of people who've given themselves bad reputations, shit-talking their viewers and meaning it. And I don't want to be because I, I know there's a lot of people out there who do appreciate my work. And, you know, I appreciate you guys. 
I really do. I wouldn't have made it this far if it weren't for like the support that the people who do care about my work have given me. I don't like bringing attention to people who give me hard times. That's what I hate because there's so many people who do that. And honestly, it's turned me off. Sure, they're probably not directing me. But even then, the fact that they would go to the extent of doing it just turns me off. It really does. It, it does sound, I'm not trying to sound weird, but basically, it just basically makes me feel bad. I mean, I guess, you know, you, you direct everybody, and that means everybody, even the people who aren't doing it. And that's why I don't like doing it. And whenever I have to, it just scares me because I'm like, oh, great, this is going to cause a problem with people who don't do this. And this whole video is a mess, if you can't tell, because I've got so much problems going on right now that it's hard to make it work so it's only, like, one topic at a time. So, what direction am I taking this in? Well, here's what's going to go down. I need to take some time off of mainline plush brains and cartoony gameplay let's plays. Yeah, I know. At the same time, like last year, I had to cut off let's plays. But that was for a different reason. That was because of family and I was taking care of my grandmother who was in hospice. Rest in peace. But, uh, yeah, this time it's more or less my own mental health and I... I don't know if I can handle it all just as like I, I kind of blame the big project. I can blame myself for that. It's it's hurting me. And the problem is, even though it is hurting me, I do want to see it come together because there are some big things at stake here. Some big things that are going to be going on in this thing that I'm working on. But sometimes I wonder if it's even worth it. <sighs> I don't know. It's it's a lot to take in. But basically, if there's any Plush Brains videos that it's going to be getting worked on, it's either tiny shorts for Twitter or side videos or the big project. And as for cartoony gameplay, I do want to keep doing cartoony gameplay. Even after I stop doing Plush Brains, I want to at least make time for cartoony gameplay because... I mean, that was the first series that I started that, you know, I really enjoyed doing. And one-offs are easy for me to do. I even have some planned for this year. I mean, not this year. I mean, this month and the upcoming. I'm going through a lot right now. My mind is not in the right place. But I don't want you all to worry about me. I've I've had people who, like, worried about me and have, like turn themselves off for like a time being because they were worried about me don't worry about me okay guys i am a tough cookie and i can recover just fine and i'm not i'm not depressed i mean if i was depressed i wouldn't be making this video right now i would just probably stay quiet and that would just lead the worst things so if any of you are turned off by how i'm feeling and what i've talked about don't worry about me i'll I'll make it through it. And I really hope all of you understand it. And if none of you don't, and if everything I just said made no sense, then whatever. It is what it is. So, yes, I do have some smaller projects and some other things that I've been wanting to do that are not cartoon gameplay and plush brains. I might try to passively work on those. The big project needs to get done before I do anything else. No telling how long that's going to take because the thing is not even in proper production yet. I'm still in, like, pre-production. I am almost to main production, but, again, there's a lot going on with this thing, and I'm only one person. So, yeah, though that's pretty much it. Those three things, random videos, gameplay one-offs, and Twitter stuff and all that jazz... That will all still happen, but as much as I really don't want to, plush brains and cartoony gameplay, those are kind of, uh, I mean, let's plays, cartoony gameplay, let the, let's plays, sorry, those are kind of out of the question right now, at least for the time being, until I can get the big elephant out of the room. So, yeah, I hope y'all understand 
Um, if I do feel like doing a Let's Play, then it's probably going to be a small one. Something that's, like, small worthy. And as for part one of Monsters, Inc. Scream Team, I'll put that in the Mike's Toontown archives. And I'll leave a link to that in the description. So if any of you want to watch that, then so be it. That will be there for you. I'll even put the thumbnail in there as well because I actually am very proud of the thumbnail. It was a suggestion from a friend. Um... Yeah, so thank you all for watching. I hope you understand. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. I'll probably be more active on there than I am here at the moment. And I'm going to try and push through it, but my motivation is just so drained, I'm not sure. But regardless, I'll be seeing you all soon.